G'day, I'm Melissa Shannon, founder of Digital Scrapbooking HQ.com and today I'm here to show you how to fix a common problem in Photoshop Elements Organizer. If you've been using Photoshop Elements Organizer, you'll probably understand that the photos in this browser are just thumbnails. They're not your actual photo files. Your actual photo files are still in your photo folders on your hard drive. So if I go ahead and rename a folder on my hard drive that I've already imported into Photoshop Elements, I'm going to have a few problems. If I go ahead and look for the photos I just moved, now it's coming up as a missing file. Now, in this case, Photoshop Elements is pretty smart and it's just quickly found the files for me. Sometimes, however, if you've moved them somewhere a bit different on your computer, your Photoshop Elements might not be able to find them so quickly. So let's show you that. I'm going to drag this folder onto my desktop and then Let's do another quick search. I'm using the metadata search to quickly find a date so that we can find disconnected files. Well, this is pretty funny. It seems like Photoshop is Elements is binding on my photos really quickly. So now I have to try another method. Let's actually go ahead and search again. Here we go. I've deleted this file. So. This is what will often happen to you if you have moved a file from outside Photoshop Elements. Now I'm addressing this first because it's the most common mistake people make. They are like keep moving their folders around on their computer and it's totally normal to do that. But if you want to avoid seeing this whole missing file thing, there's something you can do. I'm just going to cancel out of this one. Now there's a couple of options you have. In this case, I would have to go and find the image and I could just drag it back into the folder where it, it came from. But let's face it, most of the time when you move your photos, you don't want them back in the folder where it came from. You want them in the new location. So when you see this searching for missing file, you can click browse and then you can go ahead and locate the file on your computer. So once you have reconnected one image in your photos, Photoshop Elements learns to look in that location for any other missing images. So it's pretty fast and as you can see, it's pretty smart about how it can find images. So let's show you that example again. I'll rename some files, do a quick search for those files and Within moments, Photoshop Elements has found those photos for me. Now, of course, if you have unplugged an external hard drive or moved your photos onto a completely different drive, it's probably going to need some help to find them. And that's why we recommend moving your folders within Photoshop Elements. So in my case, I've got all of my images in this pictures folder here. And I like to have my photos stored by month. You can see here that I had to change how my photos are imported because the iFi card that I've been using for five years is no longer supported. And my new camera likes to import things with dates right down to the day. So I want to just go ahead and move all these photos in to my monthly folder instead. I'm just going to use the folders view in Photoshop Elements and just move the files. So click on folders, click view as tree. If you view as list, it's just going to be a very long list and it can be hard to find exactly what you're looking for. You may like it like that and mean you can still do the same thing, but for me, Working with a more complicated photo library that's now spans almost 
20 years of digital photos. I just want to be sure I know exactly where I'm putting my photos. So let's browse back down to where we were and move our photos across to the monthly folders. Now it'll take a little while to process. My computer has a lot of RAM so it doesn't take too long. But you might find that it takes a little while on your computer. Now you'll notice that the folders are vanishing as I'm removing the photos. They're not gone from my computer. I can show you them right here. But because the photos have been moved, they're not showing up in Photoshop Elements. You can see them here, they're empty. I can also go ahead and move the folder to within another folder if that's what I prefer to do or what you'd prefer to do. You'll see there it is appeared there. But I like to keep mine in flat monthly folders so I'm just going to move that across and then I can just go ahead and delete the empty folders when I'm done. Another option is to rename my folder. I can rename folders in Photoshop Elements as well. But I have to make sure that I don't rename them to something that's already existing because it'll give me an error. Okay, so let's just do a little test run to show you. There we go. And then when I refresh my screen over here, you can see, there we go, 2016-10 test. Now I would say it's uh, maybe a fraction slower than doing it just plain within Windows or Finder, but you're guaranteed that you're not going to have any of those disconnection issues. So what about those um, situations where you've got a photo library and you've been working on it outside Photoshop Elements and you want to make sure that you have still got all your photos properly connected in Photoshop Elements. You don't need to worry, just go to File, Reconnect All Missing Files. Now it's going to go through my whole database of I think it's around 25,000 images. So it'll take a little while in my case a couple of minutes probably and then we can go ahead and see if there's any files we need to handle at the end. So I'll just pause the video <laughs> and it's finding 4,210 missing files. Mm, this could be interesting. Now it's going to process the missing files and attempt to find it itself. Now if you're looking at your um, Photoshop elements and you're thinking well I know exactly where that file is go ahead click browse and then you can locate the missing file manually. So in this case I'm going to browse through and hopefully find the image that's the same and click reconnect. Now if you get this error that says the file already exists in the catalogue, it means that this image at the bottom here is already within the the catalogue. You can see in my case I had iPhone possible duplicates folder. So that means that I probably am going to need to remove quite a few of these as duplicates. No worries, we'll just click OK. And it'll Photoshop Elements has made a few attempts to connect some files and found that the file already exists. So here's another example where I found the duplicate image and then I click reconnect 
And now Photoshop Elements is going to use that information to search through the other files and try and connect them. It'll take a few seconds to process and it's saying that the files were already existing. Once you've waited for the dialog box to load, you'll see that every single disconnected file is included. Now, don't stress out about that right now. If you can remember the specific file you saw that you want to reconnect, go ahead and do it. Otherwise, you can have a look through. I like to sort mine by original location. So that means that if somehow accidentally I've imported the wrong folder and then decided to move them, they're all together. But you can also sort by name if you'd like to. Here I've got a couple of layouts. Now I don't keep my layouts in my photo catalog, so I'm just gonna select both of them. Click on this menu button and click delete from catalog. Now this only deletes the thumbnail image from the catalog and the file is still on my hard drive. Also, we've got some other documents that shouldn't be in there. Delete from catalog. Uh, now here's where it becomes a little bit of a treasure hunt. I'm, I've got some images here that look the same. I'll click reconnect. Once the file's reconnected, it disappears from the list. Now let's go to the next one on the list. 2011-04. Well, I can tell you right now that file would have been moved to 2012-04. Why? because it's a photo of Edward's birth card, well, his cot card from the hospital. And he sure wasn't born in 2011. So I'm guessing we'll find that one. Hmm, saying that file's empty. Well, looks like it's time to jump into our pictures and have a bit of a search. I like to just do a quick search I type in the file name and it looks like it's not there so the next thing to do is type in date taken change that to 28th the 4th 2012 aha uh -huh, there we go for some reason that image has been put in a different folder so strange Oh well, I guess we'll move it back to where it should be. Here you're finding out something. I'm not perfect either. So we're going to find the folder where the image is. And we're going to click reconnect. And it's telling me the image was already in the catalog. So I think that means we'll just delete that from the catalog. And again, my best bet is always to check the date here and open the folder, see if I can find the picture. If I can't, I just head back into Windows and do a quick search. Now I'm guessing you've got the point of why you don't want to move your files around outside Photoshop Elements. Because it becomes a bit of a pain to find them all and reconnect the files. 
I hope this video has helped you work out how you can reconnect your photos and your Photoshop Elements Organizer catalog. If you need more help, don't worry. You can leave a comment below this video and I'll do my very best to help you out. You can also learn more about Photoshop Elements Organizer at digitalscrapbookinghq.com slash organize. Thanks for watching.